In Italy, abortion is legal for any reason within the first 90 days of pregnancy, and afterward for certain reasons with the referral of a physician. The practice was legalized in 1978, despite the opposition of Pope Paul VI, who encouraged doctors to exercise conscientious objection. Virginia Codenunziante is president of the Italian Marcia per la Vita, which was itself modeled after the U.S. March for Life in Washington, D.C. She discusses with EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andrea Stonehauser the challenges and opportunities facing the pro-life movement in Italy. You are a leading pro-life advocate here in Italy. Can you tell us a little bit what the situation is like? A few weeks back there was the March for Life here in Italy. What is the situation like in this country when it comes to the right to life, especially for the unborn? The situation in Italy, of course, uh, um, has changed a lot in the last uh, um, years. Um, we had, as, as you probably know, the, the law on abortion, which was voted on uh, May the 22nd, 1978. So it was quite a long time ago. Um, but for more or less, I would say, um, 30 years, um, nothing has really done has been has been done on the public square officially. So um, I think that in the last years, uh, starting with the March for Life, which was an event that we, uh, uh, in fact, copied from the American March for Life, um, well, the debate uh, is now uh, official. So there are papers, newspapers, the media are speaking on, on uh, the right of abortion. Um, doctors are, uh, um, are also uh, having, of course, uh, discussions among them because there are many who uh, don't want to, to, to practice the abortion. And, um, and so I think that this discussion has been extremely helpful also because it has brought the discussion into the schools, into the uh, teenagers. And, um, and so, uh, um, in my opinion, this is the right moment in order to uh, really insist on our government, insist on our politicians to have a change in our law on abortion, which, uh, uh, as, we, as we well know, has uh, killed more than six million uh, babies in Italy in these 40 years. And how do you see the Vatican? We're here in front of, of, of St. Peter's. Do you, do, you, do you also see that there is an influence also from the church here uh, on Italy in a positive way? Well, um, I would say uh, this. Well, the Pope, the popes uh, um, has been very clear on abortion, I would say. Even uh, uh, in the last period, Pope Francis has spoken uh, very, very strongly against abortion. Um, there is a difference, uh, nevertheless, with uh, the Italian bishops' conference. So uh, there are um, some bishops, some few bishops who are very active. So I, I, I have to remember that last year at the March for Life, there was a, a, a bishop who uh, spoke officially and made a very strong statement against abortion on the public square. So this was, has been a great example for us. Uh, but apart from a few bishops, I would say that the bishops' conference uh, doesn't really react to uh, um, the problem on abortion. Of course they are not in favor of abortion, but uh, I think they do, do not dare to speak officially and to say something openly. You have led the March for Life here in Rome for, for 10 years. Um, how, do you, how do you perceive, the? has society changed since then? Has there been more openness for the discussion on the right to life? Yes, well for sure there is more, more openness to the discussion, especially on the media. I think is very important because then people understand that there is a confrontation, that there is that there are people who are against abortion, and that you can be against abortion, against the law, and, and especially that there is a, a, um, an increasing number of young people who are against abortion. Because the problem is that young people usually don't know nothing because they, they, uh, nobody tells them about abortion and, um, and what exactly happens with an abortion. And, uh, and especially because in schools they don't say that. And in fact in schools they, they say exactly the opposite. They favor uh, uh, the uh, abortion, so, uh, especially to young uh, um, girls. So uh, I think that the fact that the discussion is now uh, um, on the public square um, is 
the turning point. Because before when it was everything silent, then of course only, uh, uh, um, only a voice was heard. Uh, but now the other voice has, in the last 10 years is also heard and so this will make a change. And here in Italy, what is the strongest argument you find uh, when it comes to defending life? To what kind of argument are the people most susceptible? Well, um, I would say the fact that uh, um, if you don't want to keep uh, the child, you can give it uh, um, in adoption. So you can just leave it in, in, in the hospital. So, and I think that it has been extremely interesting. Uh, a few days ago, an Italian girl on TikTok, which as you know is the main, one of the main uh, 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 social media now, for, especially for, for young people, um, made a, a, an incredible, uh, beautiful testimony. Uh, she's 25 years old and she said, uh, um, I'm so happy as I have such a wonderful life. My parents who adopted me are really giving me so much love, so I really have a, a, a really beautiful life. But what I wonder is who is this young girl who uh, uh, 10, uh, 25 years ago, when she was 15, decided not to uh, 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 abort me and so uh, um, went to the hospital even if uh, uh, um, many told her that she could have an abortion but she stayed firm on her decision not to abort the baby uh, and so she uh, uh, had the baby and she left it at the hospital so this young girl said this is the option I have a wonderful life but why, uh, uh, why should I have been killed? And so I think that this is the great testimony. So the fact that if you don't want to keep the baby, but uh, death is never an option. And so uh, uh, the only option is to give life. And then someone else will take care of this child in, in, and, and as this girl, uh, uh, wonderful parents. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Andreas.